hi everyone welcome to this video in this video i will explain you about uh, calling third party web api from plugin i have already told you i have already created a video that how you can call third party web apis using microsoft power automate let us see how we can call that third party web api using plugins and in that plugin also we will see how we can configure how we can pass uh, secure and unsecure configuration data to the plugin so that I can use it right so I have a web API URL and I have a API key and using that API key I can call that web API and I will configure that URL and API key in my unsecure configuration of plugin registration tool and uh, we will use that configuration items in plugin and we will see how we can call it so let us get started so if you have not watched the flow or power automate video that i have created how to call third party web api using power automate http action then you can watch this video this is in my channel uh, subchip learn and uh, here uh, the complete flow i have mentioned here right you can go through now today i will tell you about the coding part right because this is without coding how you can call a power automate you know how you can configure power automate to call external web api and uh, the web api you are we are using is currency layer right so you can have you know uh, any type of web api uh, that you can use but for this demo purpose i am using currentslayer.com currentslayer.com is a web api provider uh, by which you can get the ex currency exchange rates by passing a source currency and the target currencies if you want to understand that what is the one us dollar you can see here so uh, when you sign up this currency layer they will provide you a trial uh, access key free access key this is the access key and uh, there is also an example how you call that this is the url and this url requires some uh, query strings uh, one is access key the source uh, the target currency exchange rate and the source currency and the format right so if you click on run then what it will do it will return all the uh, corresponding exchange rates of usd to ur uh, europe uh, European dollar, GBP uh, USD, and Canadian dollar and PLN, right? So these are the exchange rates against USD. So you have to pass a currency uh, source currency, then it will give you the target currency exchange rates with different country currencies, right? So this uh, th this automation I have already done in Power Automate. Now today I will uh, show you how I can configure a, uh, how I can configure plugins using c -sharp code to call this third party web api and get this information uh, in my crm or dynamics 365 okay so you understand this concept right you have to sign up this currency layer uh, and they will get you uh, they will give you a api access key and the url with a sample url right sample data now i can i have to configure this type of sample data in my plugin right now let us go to the plugin and see what I have done, right? The first thing is I have to, so if you don't know about plugin development, you can watch my other videos. I have already told you how to, you know, uh, configure plugins. Now I have created a plugin uh, whose name I have given third party web API call. I plugin interface is there. You have to implement. I have taken three strings. One is config setting string variable, one is key string variable, and another is URL string variable, and it is class level variable. I want to keep this URL, this access key, and this URL in on secure configuration of my plugin registration tool. That's why I have to keep this information as a XML file. You can see here data inside key i have pasted my access key after that url tag inside url i have uh, i have mentioned here the url of the uh, web api right 
and closed the data tag so this looks like a xml format right now whenever i register this assembly register this plugin in plugin registration tool um, you will see here in the step if you double click sorry in the step if you double click i have mentioned this unsecure configuration in xml format right data is the root tag inside that key is the child tag inside that i have added the access key and in the url i have added the web api url and tag closed data tag closed so this type of uh, xml uh, format you can keep it in unsecure configuration or secure configuration uh, so that you can read this information in plugin so it's it's kind of you know configuration data how if someone can ask you how to config how to pass configuration data to uh, plugin because it, it is a class library project you do not have some app config or web config right so that's why for this reason if you want to uh, keep some connection strings or other informations you can keep it like this and you can read it in plugin so let us see how i retrieve this information in plugin now this xml uh, you have to store in the unsecure configuration then in the constructor remember the secure and unsecure configurations that you declare here in the plugin registration tool inside step uh, step should be retrieved through the constructor of the plugin class it is a .NET concept so whenever this uh, class is executed the constructor is called first so before execute method you know that execute uh, execute method is always uh, present in the web um, in the plugins right now in in addition to this execute you have to add another function called its constructor which is the same name as the class plugin class and you have to pass a parameter string configuration setting right you can give any name of here but give sensible name and inside that what i am checking so when whenever i call this in the constructor the unsecure configuration will automatically pass to here and i'm checking if string dot is null or white space if it is blank or not blank then in the config setting variable read the uh, configuration settings because this configuration setting will uh, contain the configuration i have added here as xml automatically that will be passed to this uh, connection string uh, that will be passed to this parameter whenever this constructor is called then i am assigning to this uh, global string config setting uh, then using xml document i am creating a, a an xml object by taking this raw data that is passed as a configuration and i am retrieving this key and url by using select single node using the attribute data slash key can you see that the uh, data is the parent and key is the child so to read key information you have to use data slash key dot inner text so this will give you the value of the key attribute or key node and this will give you the url node information now simply i using the constructor i have retrieved the uh, configuration information using some variables now i have the key access key for the web api and the url of the web api right now next i will go to the actual method execute this four lines is uh, common to all plugins right this is the context plugin context this is the service object to interact with your uh, dynamics data or table records here it is the entity object i am reading the entity object uh, from which entity this plugin is called and to call that third party web api we have to use http client object and after http client object is initialized i have taken a variable called as query and i am defining the format of the query string that has to be passed to the web api you can see here this is the format right access key equal to this ampersand currency equal to target currency ampersand source equal to source currency then format equal to one right so i have to build this string in my plugin so i have built this string access equal to key which is dynamically stored here in the uh, constructor and currency i am reading this for then source usd 
you can also make it dynamic you can make it dynamic usd can be done my dynamically you can remove uh, some of the options or add more options here and format you can keep it one or you can make it more so this is the query string that is required whenever i will send this information to the web api url next request object http web request uh, web request dot create i am creating a http request i am passing this url web api url which is already available from secure configuration unsecure configuration i am reading here this is the url now this url concatenated with question mark and the query string so now this string will completely give me the url of this format the completely format now the completely this string now format my complete web api string with parameters now i just need to call this hit this or i will just need to call this complete url so you have to use request method get automatic decompression you can use the flat or ggip content string dot empty then once the web api is called in dot net i am using the http web res response i am using get response method to get the response of the request and using get response stream to read all the values of this content so this content is the final thing that is received as a response from the web api call right now this is because this content is a raw uh, json so i have to parse it so how this content what this content will return i will show you here this content will return like this right now this is a json object right and inside this json object i have a quote uh, object and inside that quote object i have euro gbp canadian dollar whatever right so i have to reach to this node from this json so i have to parse it first so i have taken a variable parsed response json using j object now this j object is a newton soft dot json dot link you have to install it uh, by using nuget package manage nuget package uh, you have to do in the project then you have to search uh, newton dot js and you have to install right i have already installed you will see here this one i have installed now if it is not installed you have to click on browse and search here newton dot js then you have to click install this is how you uh, it is now showing uninstall right because i have installed so you can install it then you can use j object class now j object dot parse inside that i am passing the content so it is now giving me the json object so from this json object i am retrieving the quotes tag right you can see here this is the quotes now when i am reading the quotes now this currency json is another json right this part is another session uh, json object now from this json object i want to retrieve euro then how can i do that i can again parse it json dot parse currency json dot to string then parse it currency json in uh, square bracket the property i want to fetch the usd euro property that's why i mentioned here right now i have kept it in variable now my intention is not just to read i want to add this information written information with the content query to understand content and the query and the url and this usd to euro uh, property also that i have retrieved in a note right my intention is on the contact entity when someone change the uh, let me go to the contact entity here whenever you saw, uh, when, whenever you change this payment term to something else and click on save then what it will do it will just add a note here with all these informations that i have captured right this is the response of euro currency exchange rate and this is the url this is the query and this is the content so everything i will get it now here i have used row entity note to create a new node for the contact entity now let us see and you understand this is important you have to pass on secure configuration otherwise it will throw error and i have used post operation on the update of contact and here filtering attribute i have mentioned payment term code right do not keep filtering attributes uh, 
uh, for all attributes right now let us test this i will go to details and change this to net 30 and click on save as soon as i save the plugin will call and in the summary if you refresh this timeline you will find a new note can you see that this is a new note and you will find all the information that is captured from the response of the web api this usd euro 0 0.88983 is the euro currency right you can see here right here also it is giving data this is what we are getting and i have also displayed the complete uh, url so what is the complete url you can see here this is the url starting from http to uh, live question mark right then i am adding also query then question mark query then content now here it you will find all the content now this is the raw data that is returning right now you understand how you can call third party web apis without any issue and i will also upload this code in uh, my uh, git hub so that you can download and practice on your own you can also use this same code uh, same key api key and url for your testing also okay thank you everyone i hope you understand how you can use secure and secure configurations right as i have created here and how to call third party web api so i have done two things that will be beneficial for you thank you everyone see you next time bye